Imagine if you had to repeat the same steps over and over and over to complete a task. For example, think about writing your name. Easy enough, right? But let's say you needed to write it 10 times or 100. How about 1,000? Maybe you're a celebrity and you need to keep up with all the autograph requests. Suddenly, a simple task becomes a lot more intense. Wouldn't it be great if you could command your name to be written as many times as you needed? In programming, this would be the perfect time to use a loop. A loop is a command used to repeat a part of code until a certain desired process is complete. It may seem silly to imagine needing to write your name a thousand times, but in reality, programmers often need to write thousands of the same line of code. In programming, we can use a loop to repeat this code without needing to rewrite it again and again. In Codable, this is what we use to program a loop. This looper will repeat two commands a certain number of times to achieve an outcome. Let's take a look at how this loop can affect your code. A block of code like this works the same as code like this. The outcome for both is identical. Your fuzz will move right, down, right, and down. But what do you notice about the two programs? The first option is shorter. It is only using one looper command, while the second option is four commands and repeats the same commands twice. In Codable, if we want our fuzz to repeat certain actions, we can tell it to do so using only one command space instead of multiple. This is important because we want to keep our code short to minimize errors and bugs. Code shouldn't be longer than it needs to be, which is why in Codable there are limited command bins when a loop can and should be used. When you are creating your maze for this activity, think about what you can do to repeat patterns. If you create patterns that are repeating, then the commands used to move your fuzz through the maze will also repeat, and you can use a loop to keep code short. Let's work through a level using loops together. Start by drawing the path that will allow the fuzz to collect all the trash. Here, we want our fuzz to move right, up, right, up, right, down, right. Drag the commands into your program to tell your fuzz how to move. Uh-oh, it looks like there are not enough bins to hold all the commands we need. Let's look to see if there are any patterns of repeating commands in our code. Here and here. After our first command, we tell our fuzz to move up, right, up, right. These are two commands that are repeating. We can use a loop instead. This way we take up only one command bin instead of four. Now we can code the rest of the program and are left with bins to spare. When you use a looper, your code will run in sequence before the loop and pick up again right after. Now it's your turn. Create your maze, code your program, test it out.